We're awake and I am, and we are on the spot. My first favorite would be Under Oath because that's what I grew up loving. But my most listened to band lately would be I The Mighty. So I would say this my second favorite. Currently, my second favorite is Periphery, I believe. I'm gonna go with that, lock it in. And Normandy. That'd be a second. Normandy? Yeah, Normandy, good choice. I'm gonna say Anastasia because her music's bad enough to laugh at but not good enough to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Surely it's the stages of grief bridge. Yeah. Ah, uh, so yeah, the bridge of the song Stages of Grief pretty much sums it up. So it's the lyrics are um, from the pain that I feel, I know our love was real. Um, and obviously, yeah, that song was completely written about our brother Connor. And uh, going through that process and losing someone also makes you realize how deep that love that you had for them was. He was, uh, yeah, our little brother. Uh, Connor was probably the, one of the happiest and nicest people you'll ever meet. Even on tour, he was nev would never complain, just stoked to be doing stuff. And so to lose uh, someone like that, it's, you know, it's a pretty deep, big loss. And for us, uh, once it uh, all happened, we kind of wanted a chance to work through a lot of our feelings and emotions, and that's what music was so great for, but also to create something to remember him by, and something that like is lasting. Uh, and yeah, it was great. I think it was like a really healing process for us and for a lot of like friends and, and fans and family around the situation as well. He was a pretty funny guy, and we've all heard stories, but he did the same with us from his close friends where when we did the film clip for Dissolution, he had a bit of a house party to go to and he spent the whole house party with Dissolution film clip on repeat, showing all his friends, just trying to sit, tell them all how good it was and how stoked with it he was. <laughs> Music was like, uh, yeah, his, his life pretty much. So uh, yeah, that's definitely one aspect, the funny aspect. Connor, he it was such a character. He was very dopey, but the one area that he would always school me on is music. Like I would be a lot more knowledgeable about everything but then when it came to music he he was just so passionate like it literally was his whole life from the moment like I met him when he was 18 uh, and started making music with him like over five years ago he was just always so passionate about it like he loved different styles different genres he just loved discovering so it was such a big part of who he is and so for us creating something so closely aligned to the type of person he was I, could, I couldn't think of any better way to kind of remember him I would actually be pretty interested along uh, Jimmy's route to hear either Mighty do like Kin or something like that. Yeah. Like something like heavier for them, but still having that sort of like aggressiveness that we sort of, pro you know, project with the song. Yeah, that'd be cool. Or Anastasia covering by <laughs> yourself. <laughs> 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 oh, I, uh, oh, no. I have a very weak stomach. For vomit. Someone vomited in our van recently, actually. And uh, yeah, it was. I had to clean it up. Up there, <laughs> up there with the top 10 worst moments of my life. Um, Especially because we still had like another 15 minutes of the drive, <laughs> so like we couldn't stop. And <laughs> Oh, God. I feel like if it was my own vomit, I'd rather taste it than smell it. I would rather taste my own vomit than smell someone else's. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably say taste. You guys are disgusting. <laughs> Which ones did I write again? <laughs> um, Surely Blind Love. Yeah, so it? Blind Love's probably, that was like the first single off one of our last records and that was, that record was probably the first record that we were really proud of and stoked on. Um, so that, I think the stages of grief, even though that's a newer single, that's probably like a pretty massive defining moment for us as a band. Yeah. Mm. Um, and I'd say Ken as well, because the subject matter of those is like something that's so, literally, you know, embedded in what, who we are now as a band. But also, like, even from the reaction, like, what blows me away is, like, we put out Kin and the Stages of Grief and we had people, like, messaging us and saying, hey, I lost my brother or my dad, you know, recently or, or a few years ago and this song really connected with me. And for me, that's, like, what it's all about. Like, it's not about the shows or, or the tour. It's about having music where people can actually connect to it. and it can, you know, have the same healing and comfort that we have through it by writing it, you know, to have that for other people. It reminds me of when I was growing up and I was like 16 and, you know, you'd go through times and then you'd have a song and that song would be such a defining thing for yourself. Who would play me would probably be uh, 
Steve Carell. <laughs> because I feel like Michael Scott off The Office is my spirit animal. If it was just Ryan and, Ryan and I, it'd be Dumb and Dumber. Easily, easily. 100%. But I'm dumb and Jay's dumber. Yep. No one can play me. We're, we're agreeing. Uh, someone cast me. Andy Sandberg of Hot Rod. <laughs> oh, I'll take that, I'll take that. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> I'll take it, I'm happy with that. A few years ago I saw Paramore and 21 Parts as their first time in Australia and the first time seeing their drummer backflip off a piano was wild. <laughs> what? Was wild. Yeah, backflip off the piano, that's wild. What that's the wild. heck? Damn, Craziest wild. thing. Oh, that's a hard one. Before they broke up, Let Live. I watched their Audio Tree Live video and uh, their singer, is it Jason? Jason, Jason. Jason he was going mental in the uh, in the live room and it's a it's, you know it's a mm. tiny live room it's probably like a four by four room and he's just like as he's screaming along to the the songs he's getting under the rugs and like rolling himself in the rugs and then jumping up behind the drummer and like standing on like the platform and he's just banging on walls and stuff and I'm just sitting there like what is happening right now? Like, <laughs> they're shooting like a live sort of video but um that was pretty wild I know it's not really like a live experience or anything, but mm. I'm sitting Live there enough. in my chair wanting to get up and like jump around my room with him and stuff. <laughs> Alright. We're awake and I am. <laughs> For more videos of your favourite <laughs> artists, please like and subscribe to APTV. Yeah. It. Nailed it. Cool. Alright, let's do it. We're awake and I am. For more videos of your favourite artists, please like and subscribe to APTV. Nailed it. Nailed it. That was easy.